जय हिंद टू ऑल द फ्यूचर ऑफिसर्स टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द इक्वेलेंट रैंक्स इन इंडियन आर्मी नेवी एंड एयरफोर्स नॉट जस्ट ऑफ द कमीशन ऑफिसर्स बट आल्सो ऑफ द जे सी ओज एंड द एन सी ओज बट बिफोर स्टडिंग अबाउट दैम आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अबाउट द बैटन बैटन रेफर्स टू द एम्बलम ऑफ कमांड इन द पिक्चर यू आर सींग लेट फील्ड मार्शल स शैम मानिक शो He is holding a baton in his hand with a Ashok stump on its top, which means it is a symbol of the authority, or it is held by the highest-ranking official in army, navy, and air force, and it shows that he is the command or he is the supreme type of leader. Next comes the saber. Saber generally means a curved sword. In the image, you can see this is the curved sword, and it refers to the saber. Okay. so i have told you about baton baton is generally held by the field marshal in the army admiral of the fleet in navy and marshal of the air force in the air force okay so as you have understood between baton uh, it is a emblem of command and saber it is a curved sword now we will be studying about the equivalent ranks okay first if we see in indian army Indian Army rank structure goes of the commissioned officer from lieutenant. As you have heard that after the passing out parade or after crossing the anting pug, the first officer or the first rank is the of the lieutenant. After lieutenant comes the captain, and after captain comes the major. After major comes the lieutenant colonel, and after colonel after lieutenant colonel comes the colonel. After colonel comes the brigadier. and then comes the major general lieutenant general general and field marshal now i just made you understand the two things baton and saber now it will be in our use so lieutenant is a two star officer as this stars you can see on his straps so after getting commission you will firstly get two stars in indian army second captain has three stars then comes the major major has one ashok stump then comes the lieutenant colonel lieutenant colonel has one star and one ashok stump then comes the colonel colonel has two stars and one ashok stump then comes the brigadier brigadier has three stars and one ashok stump now comes the major general major general has crossed baton and saber with one star now you understood why i told you or made you understand baton and saber now lieutenant general has one crossed baton and saber with one ashok stump now the general has one baton and saber crossed with one star and one ashok stump then comes the rank of field marshal he has crossed baton and saber with 12 lotus surrounding it and one ashok stump so gentlemen if you see from now onwards if you see an, any of the army officer now you can see his strap and you can easily identify which rank is of that officer now we will summarize it lieutenant captain major lieutenant colonel colonel brigadier major general lieutenant general general and field marshal now comes the indian air force so after getting commissioned from the air force academy the first thing or the first rank held with an air force officer is the flying officer flying officer after flying officer comes the flying lieutenant then comes the squadron leader then wing commander group captain air commander air vice marshal air marshal air chief marshal and marshal of the air force which is the equivalent rank of field marshal in army okay again we will revise it flying officer flight lieutenant squadron leader wing commander wing commander abhinandan sir you might remember okay so he was the equivalent rank of lieutenant colonel in the army so wing commander group captain air commodore air vice marshal air marshal air chief marshal and marshal of the air force now we will come to the navy so after getting commissioned from the naval academy the first rank of is held of the commissioned officer 
is the sub lieutenant sub lieutenant 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 commander commander then captain five things are easy to remember sub lieutenant 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 commander commander then comes the captain comes the commodore then rear admiral vice admiral admiral and admiral of the fleet we will again revise it sub lieutenant 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 commander commander captain commodore rear admiral vice admiral 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 of the fleet now how questions can be asked in ssb interview o okay tell me the equivalent rank of captain in the navy with army and air force so equivalent rank of captain in navy is through group captain in air force and colonel in indian army so this type of questions can be asked in interviews okay so now we will study about the equivalent ranks of jcos okay generally this deep uh, till now i don't know but i haven't heard that they have asked about the equivalent ranks of jcos and ncos but what if they ask okay we cannot just uh, left any of the edges okay so studying about the equivalent rank of jcos jcos are junior commissioned officer so in army it is structured like this naib subedar subedar me subedar major okay and in the navy it is chief petty officer master chief petty officer master chief petty officer but the difference is first class and second class it is the division and in the air force it is junior warrant officer it is warrant officer and master warrant officer gentlemen if you will just revise it two three times it will just set in your mind and it would be your muscle memory so whenever if anyone will ask you will not think much but you have to revise it three to four times okay naib subedar 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 major in army chief petty officer master chief petty officer second class master chief petty officer first class in navy junior warrant officer warrant officer master warrant officer in air force now comes the army navy and air force equivalent ranks for ncos okay so ncos non commissioned officers starts from sepoy lance naik naik havaldar in army seaman second class seaman first class leading rate petty officer in navy and air force aircraftsman leading aircraftsman corporal and sergeant in air force now one more thing other than equivalent ranks they can also tell you that tell me the rank structure of indian army from ncos to the highest official so then you get confused that i haven't studied about jcos or ncos so the structure of indian army from uh, the ranks of indian army from top to bottom are sepoy lance naik naik havaldar then comes the naib subedar 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 major and then comes the lieutenant captain major lieutenant colonel colonel brigadier major general lieutenant general general field marshal so this from top to bottom bottom or bottom to top this can be asked ncos are uh, down then in middle comes the jcu and at top comes the commissioned officers same for navy and same for the air force i know the video has gone long but i have made you understand each and every question that can be asked from the equivalent ranks so that's all about our today's video do revise this pdf for two three times and it will just fit in your mind and no one can beat you if anyone ask you you will definitely tell them each and every equivalent rank okay so that's all for our, that's all for our today's video thank you so much for watching patiently and if you have any valuable feedbacks then give them in the comment box thank you